so today what we are trying to do is like if you have uh, a domain in the Google uh, domains, okay, and you have a web hosting on the hosting, right? So, but when you uh, basically try to uh, host that in the hosting and connect it with the Google domain, your website is not working. So we are trying to solve that issue. So first of all, welcome to my channel. So I will show you all the step by step things to how to enable your hosting website in the Google domain. Okay. So it's very simple. Just stay with me uh, throughout the video. You will be able to get everything on this. So first we have to just find out the IP of my website. Okay. From the hosting okay so for that what you have to do is uh, first login into the hostinger okay you will see something like this uh, these panels okay now you can click on the home or you can click on the websites so when you click on the website you will see your website which is uh, hosted in the hostinger okay then you have to click on the manage so first once you click on the manage you will see all these options here okay so in these options, it's have all the details related to your website, dashboard, hosting, performance, emails, domains, etc. So what you have to do is go into the hosting. Okay. In the hosting, you will be able to see all these details related to plan, resources and all and just click the plan details. In the plan details, you will get all the website details, name server details, hosting details, server details, etc. So what you have to do is you have to copy this website IP address. Okay. So this is the IP address which we want uh, in uh, uh, to be mapped in the Google domains. Okay. So once I copy this out, okay. So I'll be so it is now copied. So now I'll go into the Google domain. So once I log in into the Google domain, you can see all these options here. Okay, domain overview, DN, uh, registration, DNS, website, right? So you have to click the DNS uh, option. In the DNS options, you will see two type of name server, default name server and custom name server. So these default name servers are the default servers which are provided by the uh, Google only. Okay. And since your domain is uh, basically purchased from the Google itself, so it is recommended to use the default name servers uh, for the Google domain. So once you click here, you will see like there are custom records and we need to update the custom uh, records with our IP, which we uh, copied from the hosting. Okay. So how will you, how will you do this is like uh, click on the manage custom records. So we have to add two records here, one with the type A and one with the type C name. Okay. For the type name, you will have to keep the host name empty type as select type as A keep the default TTL okay and paste your IP okay so this is the IP which we uh, copied from the hosting okay this particular IP and we have to paste it in the Google domain a type hostname record okay and then we have to add more records so you will need to create create new records in the create new records you will have to add www type as CNAME TTL as a default and data as your website name. For this case, it's neolytics.com. Uh, for your website, it could be abc.com. Okay. Then you have to save the custom records. So once you save it, you will find options like neolytics.com type A data IP, www.neolytics.com type C name, and uh, data is equal to neolytics.com. So once you save it and you try refreshing your uh, website it will be uh, available uh, on the internet and you will be able to connect uh, from google domain to the hosting or uh, hosting i hope uh, you like the video subscribe to my channel and uh, uh, comment uh, for this particular video how do you like this video and what are your suggestions for this video thank you for your time